Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top-of-the-line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Well, the bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Yeah-ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. Can't work off my time, and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases. So all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Whatever you say, Hiffy. Here's Celso's file. That walking stick was too good for him. I don't want to reread the old files. It'll just make me sad. Read them already. Didn't help. I'm probably scared I'll steal one of his files. Not a bad idea, actually. Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? What poisoning? The Code 3 gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. 
In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Copel. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. Sir, I didn't expect the sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha! No. No, no, no. I don't ride them. Just wrench them. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey! I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Looks like I need a new driver. Oh, I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes, you do. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry, can't. Rules. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm... I'm... I'm too big. You're not too big. You just have a self-image problem. A what? Repeat after me. I am not fat. I am thin. Women find me attractive. Hey, I never said I was too fat for the ladies. Just the cars. The ladies like me just fine. <laughs> <laughs> Screw the rules. Come with me. No, I don't want to get in trouble again. They said one more strike and I'm out. Well, do you know anyone who can drive? Everybody's gone. It's the day of the dead, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, see you later, chicken. Yeah. Okay. sales associates. It's one of these days I'm going to ride her right on out of here. It's locked. We can't operate cars. That's how they keep us from skipping town. Hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. Practicing what? Wringing your neck. What does it look like? Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. <laughs> 
I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead, name one. Robert Frost, trying to stump me, eh? Ta-da! I'm not walking on the freeway. I shouldn't even be standing here. I'm not walking on the freeway. I shouldn't even be standing here. Scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. I don't I don't want to mess up my blade. I can't find my driver. Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? Yes. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. What if we just skip town tonight? You and me, baby. Well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But... In one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out, if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trapped soul and you don't even know it. So what did you do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. You know the rules. Well, enough about me. What's your job like? Like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Domino's door is locked. Read him already. Didn't help. Here's Celso's file. That walking stick was too good for him. Here's Celso's file. I don't want to reread the old files. It'll just. Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. I couldn't play this card there. Manny, do I have to 
No, but I like to hear your description. Well, the man will dead be perf, and he brings them here, and if he's out until having the over. What is some clan? They led good luck. Good tries. Better than your. Well. Driver demons operate this somehow, and the company won't tell a salesman how it works. Gotta keep us down somehow. Ooh, I might get hurt if I try to get one down by myself. Hey, Genie! Come out of the lantern already! Gladys? Is that a German name? Oh no! My roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire to drive! Or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. I told you! I'm too big! You're not too big. You're just right. No, they told me again and again. I'm too big to drive. Okay, see you later, chicken. Yeah. Come on. I th I'm... You're not... Yeah, those dang... Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'll, I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, hey, hey. that's my line. Getting people to sign. Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. <laughs> I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. <coughs> Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Cal. Maybe tomorrow. That's too late. Oh, yeah, like you're going anywhere. Uh, I forget. Manny, stop. Come on, I know. What? I know you take memos for Hurley's. Ah, oh, Manny, just... If I... I'll give it... <coughs> Mr. Cope... Didn't I... Nah, so... Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want... Domino's door is locked. Read him already. Didn't... Yourself that walk. I've got to get this work order signed. I've got to get this work order signed. That won't help it get signed. I've got to get this work.
It's my boss's secretary, Ava. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. That won't help it get signed. Ava, I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a... Mr. Cole. Didn't I? Nah, so One of these. Mostly because it costs... Looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. I'll just change his auto response here. Ah, oh, cripes, Ava! Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! Memo from the desk. Hey, work orders are assigned. Swapping, selling, and specially. St I would love to search Don's office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, cripes, Ava! Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. Eva, I'm impressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. They say black is slimming. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! <laughs> Por favor. I could have walked faster than this. Ugh, híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. Creeps. 